On this episode of A Comic Book Orange, John McClane still dies hard, Neil Gaiman unleashes the absolute death, and twin creators Fabio Moon and Gabrielle Ba are living the dream. <laughs> Boom Studios is releasing a new comic series, Die Hard Year One, written by Howard Chaikin and illustrated by Stephen Thompson. <gasps> Well, yippee ki yay, motherfuckers. Chaikin and Thompson take us back, way back, to John McClane's first day as a regular beat cop on the streets of 1970s New York. As McClane himself describes it, it's a scary place where the only thing dirtier than the criminals are the corrupt cops. Howard Chaikin is a long-respected creator in the comic book industry and brings his usual detail and grit to the characters. The first issue did a great job establishing each of the players and the drama in their lives. The only problem is that, as a result, the story has been a bit slow, with very little action and no clear direction. It just doesn't feel like Die Hard. Steve Thompson does solid work here. Characters are distinct, the action is clear, and the clothing and backgrounds have a physical authenticity. Combined with Matthew Wilson's color, it makes for pleasant viewing. Though again, nothing exciting has happened yet. We're hoping that the second issue will get the yippee ki yaying that we want. We give Die Hard Year One two and a half oranges out of five. Also from Broom this week comes the 28 Days Later sequel comic by Michael Allen Nelson and Declan Shalvey. It's the third issue and the action is already up and, um, running with 2.5 oranges out of 5. Neil Gaiman's fan favorite Death gets the absolute treatment from DC with the various miniseries and some extras collected in a giant size hardcover. These are sweet three orange stories, but given the cost, it's strictly meant for hardcore fans. And finally, writer Matt Fraction's amazing run on Uncanny X-Men begins a new story arc this week, as the mutants build their own nation state. It's the perfect jumping on point for new readers, or get caught up with the new trade paperback collecting the start of his four orange work. This week we interview rock star twins Fabio Moon and Gabrielle Ba, creators of Pixu and illustrators on various works, including Casanova, The Umbrella Academy, and Sugar Shock. You're currently working on BPRD 1947. Tell me what that's like. Well, it's very good and exciting because it's working on the Hellboy universe with Mike Mignola, which is our like dream job. Dream job. Yeah, it's something that we feared having to face. This opportunity to work on something related with the Hellboy universe and working personally with Mike Mignola. And now it's uh, great to have something in there that we don't feel we're letting the fans uh, down and we don't feel we're letting ourselves down. Gabrielle, you're currently working on the Umbrella Academy. What's it like working with a celebrity? Well, there's a lot of attention on the book because of Jahard's, you know, other job, which is good. It's, it's in inspiring. And the best thing of it, I think, is that the book is really good. I really like it. So it's the best of every world. You have a lot of attention. You have a good book so everybody can see you making a good thing, which sometimes it's not the case. You can have a great book, but nobody will see it. So Umbrella is like a dream come true because it's a good book with a lot of attention in it. So it's been great. Fabio, tell me about Sugar Shock. Sugar Shock was the, the webcomic I did with Joss Whedon that, uh, I don't know, Eisner. yeah, won the Eisner and brought a lot of attention to comics and to me. And I think it worked so well that Dark Horse decided to put it out as a one-shot comic and print it so people could get it. And so it's coming out again in October with a brand new cover and 14 pages of unseen uh, process artwork. Is there any music that you like to draw by? We music. actually, yeah, we yeah. love music. Uh -huh. and we have a huge influence uh, of music on our work. But when it comes to work, when we are working, we work in silence. Yes. We don't listen to anything. Mm -hmm. We have to talk. We are talking all the time, so we, we cannot have music playing. Otherwise, we won't listen to each other and... It's it's like we he's not yeah, around. He, yeah, he's not going to listen to my thoughts. We we work mentally, so we have to have quiet and silence, so he can listen to my thoughts and I can listen to his. It's the twin connection. It's the twin connection, exactly. For more information on the Ba Moon Brothers, check out their blog at fabioandgabrielle.blogspot.com, or follow them on Twitter as at Fabio Moon and at Gabrielle underscore Ba. Well, that's it for this week. Don't forget, you can subscribe to our show free on iTunes, YouTube, or an RSS reader of your choice. Go to acomicbookorange.com slash subscribe for details. And I'll see you next week for another episode of A Comic Book Orange. <laughs> <laughs>
Dad, too tired to speak. 